I've been exploring the Replit for a while now, and this video is my honest and unbiased review on the same. I'll cover all the main points, from key features to risks and considerations. So by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of the Replit. Replit is an online platform that lets you write and run code right from your browser, no installations, no messy setups. It's essentially a cloud-based coding environment designed to make programming easy and collaborative for everyone, whether you're a complete beginner or a seasoned developer. Now let's talk about what makes Replit stand out. First, it supports over 50 programming languages, so whether you prefer Python, JavaScript, or something a bit more niche, you'll probably find it here. The interface is straightforward, and running your code is instant, just type and click a button to see results right away. Additionally, collaboration is a major highlight. You can invite friends or classmates to code with you in real time, editing together just like you would on a shared Google Doc. There's also a built-in chat for bouncing around ideas, AI-powered code suggestions, instant deployment for web apps, and easy project sharing with the community. On to my own experience, I've used Replit for a few side projects and group assignments. The learning curve was practically non-existent. I could jump straight into coding within minutes. Furthermore, working with teammates was super smooth. We could debug and brainstorm together without switching between different tools. I really liked how quickly I could test ideas and experiment, without the fear of messing up my computer. Of course, it's not perfect. On larger projects, I've noticed performance can slow down a bit, especially with more complex programs or bigger files. Some features, like private workspaces or extra storage, are only available with a paid plan, which might be a drawback if you're looking for all the features at no cost. And, while it's fantastic for learning and prototyping, it may not be ideal for advanced or production-level development, compared to more powerful, locally installed tools. Overall, Replit is fantastic for learning, collaborating, and prototyping in the cloud, even though it has some limits if you need something for more serious projects. But for most people, especially students and hobbyists, it's definitely worth a look. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give this video a super thanks by clicking on the heart icon to help support the channel and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.